from baseball, Jordan Stoner. Well, Jordan's been outstanding for our program. Uh, he's got really, really strong leadership qualities. He's done an outstanding job of being a good role model for the guys, especially with some of the changes that we've made and, and the situation that he's, he's kind of been thrown into. He's been outstanding. He's a really good, really good person as far as values go, and he's, he's, like I said, he's an outstanding role model for a lot of the young guys that we have. So far uh, this season, it's been a real fun season. I feel like as a team, uh, we're starting to grow and we're developing, and it's huge coming off of last year. We felt that we needed to you know, change the culture around here, and I think guys are really starting to get it. For me personally, I feel good right now at the plate. Uh, I've been working on an approach. I've been working with coaches on that, and I uh, feel really good. You've got to have somebody that leads, and that leads the right way. And um, he's done that, and he's been you know, hard work on the baseball field, and he's done outstanding in the classroom. Like I said, it, it's a necessity, and he's done a great job. I definitely try to be, as far as leadership, to do whatever I can to make an impact, I, especially for the younger guys, you know, trying to set the right example for them, and just do whatever I can to help them grow and develop. So I definitely try to be um, fit in the leadership role as best as I can. Jordan's absolutely been a huge reason for us. To, to kind of trend the way we are. He's done a lot of things on the field that have allowed us to, to win some ball games this year. And, and like I say, there's not enough you can say about the, the role model he is and, and what he's done as far as leading the young guys in the right direction and, and the kind of drive he has to be great. And like I said, he's been, a, he's been a great role model and his character's through the roof. And then on top of that, he's an outstanding player. He was an all OVC player last year. He hit 382. And he was at the top of the league in most of the offensive categories. So you talk about a guy that does everything right off the field and, and has done an outstanding job on the field. The biggest thing for me is that I want them to be good men when they leave here. I want them to be accountable. I want them to understand that if you work hard at something, that there, there is an upside to it. And, you know, it, a lot of times it takes patience, and sometimes you don't see it overnight. I, I want them to be good people. I mean, I, I want them to, to go out into the world and, and be able to deal with failure and, and stand back up, and I want them to be out in the world and, and be good citizens and good people. I think that's more important than us winning and losing a baseball game. You know, my time at ETM, I've loved it. Coming from a guy who came all the way from the Seattle, Washington area, I probably wouldn't have guessed I would have been in Tennessee. And now that I've came out here, you know, I've loved my experience. Uh, my players, my coaches, everything has really helped me gel and, and uh, fit in here. And just everything's been a great experience for me. Yeah, you know, it means a lot to me uh, to be put in this position. I uh, worked so hard to get to these positions and, uh, you know, it's just I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the team and the coaches I have. I mean, they put us in a position to work hard every day and to put forth our best, our best effort. So, you know, I just I'm really blessed with the opportunities that I've been given here and just, you know, continue to work hard each and every day for the guys next to me.